welcome back to the channel machine learning with me if you're new to the channel please subscribe so today we are going to discuss mean absolute error mean absolute error is a metric used to validate the regression model it calculates the difference between actual value and the predicted value so here the green dot indicates the actual value and the red dot on the regression line indicates the predicted value the absolute difference between these both is nothing but absolute error. Now let's calculate total absolute error. In order to calculate total absolute error, we add the absolute errors for all other data points. The actual points may be above or the below regression line. So in order to avoid the negative values, we use absolute function or in other words, we can also say modulus function. Now the mathematical notation would be summation of, summation of yi minus y cap i. Here i is nothing but the total number of data points 0 to n. For instance here n is 3. So finally let's calculate mean absolute error. Here mean is nothing but average. So mean absolute error is total absolute error divided by total number of actual points. So in our case n is 3 because we have only seen 3 data points in our example. Now let's see advantages and disadvantages of mean absolute error. Now let's talk about advantages of mean absolute error. The main advantage of mean absolute he error here is it is robust to outliers. Now what is an outlier? An outlier is an observation that lies an abnormal distance from the other values in the random sample from a population. Now let's say in an example we do have an actual values like 2, 3, 4 and suddenly then comes 10 and 0. Now 0 and 10 lies abnormally far from the other values right from 2, 4, 5. So these are called outliers. When, when there are outliers in a data uh, we need to go for MAE. MAE or the mean absolute error performs really good and doesn't get any effect uh, with outliers. Now the disadvantage of uh, MAE is if we want to optimize the model using optimization techniques we can't further derive the model. If you want to perform the derivation in, um, in subject to MAE uh, we can't do that. So this is the end of explanation of MAE and please do subscribe the channel we are going to discuss about mean squared error in the next coming video and its advantages and disadvantages over MAE.